Hi everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. If you experience the unable to check for update or unable to install update error when trying to update iOS 17 or iPadOS 17, then you come to the right place. Just like this, I am now using the iOS public beta version to simulate the situation when the official version is updated. When you happily click to install now, your phone shows unable to install. Don't worry, I'll show you some simple steps to fix it and help you upgrade to iOS 17 successfully. Subscribe to us if it helps. Let's go! Before we start, make sure your internet connection works. You can check whether you're connected to a network with a good signal in the Wi-Fi icon of the drop-down option. Method 1. Check your iPhone storage space. You need at least 1.5 GB of free space to download and install the update, so make sure you have enough storage space available. Then you can check the remaining storage space in iPhone storage. If you don't have enough space, I have a good idea. Offload apps that you don't use often. This will remove the app's data from your phone, but you'll still be able to download it again later. It's up to you. Method 2. Delete and reinstall the iOS 17 update. Sometimes you just get stuck on this interface. If you don't want to wait and want to download it again, you can go to iPhone storage. Then look for the iOS 17 upgrade file, tap on it, and delete it. Then go back to check for update and download it again to see if it is working this time. Method 3. You can also force restart your iPhone to refresh it. For iPhone 8 or later, press volume up and quickly press volume down, then press and hold the power button. Wait for about 10 seconds until you see the Apple logo appear on the screen. That's it! Now you can try to install it again. Method 4. Upgrade with Rayboot faster. If you want an easy and safe method, then I recommend you use Tenorshare Rayboot. Rayboot is a professional iOS repair tool that can help you fix a variety of iOS problems, including the unable to install update error. It is important that it does not cause any data loss. Once downloaded, connect your iPhone to your PC or Mac. Did you see this upgrade and downgrade section? Let's click on it and select Upgrade. Reboot will match the latest firmware, so during the process, you can upgrade your iPhone to the latest iOS 17. Once done, click the Initiating Upgrade option. Now you can go grab a cup of coffee. Don't move your phone during the process. When you come back, you will find that your phone has upgraded to the iOS 17 interface. It's so cool! Method 5. Update with iTunes or Finder. Connect your iPhone to your computer and open iTunes. Once iTunes detected your iPhone, click Check for Update or Update option. It will start to download the iOS 17 firmware when it finished downloading. It will begin to upgrade your iPhone to iOS 17. The iTunes process usually takes a long time. In comparison, I still prefer Rayboot. Its process is faster, and Reboot can also fix some common iOS problems without any data loss. So that's all for today. I'm thrilled that you're upgrading to iOS 17. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be grateful if you subscribe. See you!